We know that depression is frequently mentioned, discussed, and is often in the media. It's become known as the common cold of mental illness. With over 175 million reported sufferers worldwide, it's no wonder it has been cited by the World Health Organization as the leading cause of disability. Major depressive disorder, or MDD, is perhaps the most severe type of depressive disorder. To qualify for a diagnosis, a number of official parameters must be satisfied as reviewed by a medical professional and as per symptoms from the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual, 5th edition, or DSM-5. The patient must have had a single depressive episode that has lasted for 14 consecutive days or more, presented 5 out of 8 symptoms listed in the DSM-5, and the episode must have caused significant distress and impairment to the sufferer. So, here are 8 telltale signs to help you determine if you should ask your doctor about major depressive disorder. Disclaimer, please do not use this video to self-diagnose. If you can relate to most of these signs, we advise you to go to a qualified medical health professional for a proper diagnosis. 1. Persistent Depressed Mood Feeling depressed for most of the day for a period of at least two weeks solid is one of the key criteria for the diagnosis of MDD. This period is called a depressive episode and it can be triggered by an upsetting event. There is also untriggering, but there is no clear reason for this occurring. If you are feeling unusually sad, hopeless, empty, and demotivated for weeks on end, this may be a clear sign of having a mood disorder. 2. Inability to feel pleasure What's an activity you do that always gives you joy that's something that can make your whole day better. For me, it's that sweet, sweet unwrapping of a new game and watching the intro. So, what's going on when you do your thing, but now you feel nothing? Unfortunately, this means anhedonia has arrived. Anhedonia is defined as the inability to feel pleasure, and it's one of the core characteristics of major depressive disorder. This means that on top of feeling depressed most of the time with MDD, you're now also inconsolable. No event or gift can bring you up. The most you feel is flat. 3. Weight gain or loss The more common weight fluctuation with MDD sufferers is weight loss stemming from a reduced appetite. However, there is a specific subtype of MDD called MDD with atypical features, wherein the person will start overeating and gain weight instead. Either way, MDD is known to disrupt your normal eating patterns and may lead to unhealthy eating habits such as binge eating or self-starvation. 4. Insomnia or Hypersomnia What's your sleep like? Are you good with 6 hours or do you need 8 hours to be functional? Whatever it is, as long as you feel rested and alert, that's fine. Everyone's personal healthy sleep need is different. Unfortunately, MDD can frequently affect this too. Insomnia is constantly sleeping too little, around 1-3 to three hours per night, despite wanting to sleep and having the time for it. The other side of this is hypersomnia, one of the signs of MDD with atypical features. You sleep more than 10 hours per night and still feel unrested and tired upon waking. 5. Overfatigue with loss of energy Do you feel exhausted all the time despite doing almost nothing every day? Do simple activities like brushing your teeth or saying a quick hello feel like climbing a mountain? This kind of overfatigue and low energy is characteristic of those afflicted with major depressive disorder. Depression sufferers of many types typically have no drive to do anything and feel constantly tired despite doing nothing. The result is usually resignation, staying in bed all day and staring at nothing. 6. Feelings of worthlessness and guilt we can all feel guilty at times and also very upset with ourselves for making mistakes. That's normal. However, 
Has your self-esteem suddenly and dramatically plummeted? Do you feel racked with painful guilt at your smallest mistakes or even things not in your control? MDD makes regular guilt and self-checking into overwhelming emotions. Activities like writing or speaking to a friend could be helpful. If they aren't, seeing a professional can let you know if there's something more serious behind it. 7. Difficulty thinking and concentrating This sign is likely a consequence of having low energy and little motivation to do anything. In simpler terms, since there's no motivation, you don't care enough about something to concentrate on it. Studies found that patients with MDD have poorer memory, become less focused and attentive, and have difficulty making decisions on their own. 8. Recurrent Suicidal Ideation Last on this list, but perhaps most seriously, those with MDD often have recurrent thoughts about suicide. Depression can feel so overwhelmingly torturous, isolating, and dark that it may seem like the only way to stop the pain is to end the life living it. If you or someone you know is entertaining thoughts about committing suicide, even if there is no plan or previous attempts, this is still quite serious, and it's important that it's taken that way. Depression may be seen as common, but that does not mean that it is in any way easy. Do you see yourself in any of these signs? Or does this information help to make sense of anything you've seen in others? Although it may not appear like it in the moment, with the proper help, things can and will get better. It is possible to alleviate the symptoms and live a fulfilling and meaningful life. There are resources and professionals to help. Knowing more about depression will encourage the understanding, patience, dedication, and support required to help either yourself or others.